up and here we go down she goes down about five inches downhill back up the incline climbing up climbing up under the main line through platform four I think it will be and now she's descending again under the main line and into the tunnel Well hello and welcome back to Buckland Junction, it's Al in the loft and uh, well I've got to turn my uh, attention back to the layout one this room is in a real mess a real mess messing about with um, Captain Static, Grandson and uh, the place has been a bit neglected it's in a real mess but what I want to get on with now is the reversing loop coming over the top of this lot and coming back on there and the other one from that point there to a point which would be on that corner so let's get on with the good thing is I've uh, already got enough bits of um, plywood cut from when I built the layout which I'm going to use here so that's going to take a lot of work out this is about my crossing point, but I've got to finish this. I'll finish that right now. I've been training that piece of plywood to be nicely bent, like a banana, so I can go like a bit of a transition. Nicely, just gently bent to help me get up to the level. And that bridge, I've never been happy with this bridge. It's the only, um, non scratch built a kit this is a kit it's the Metcalf kit with a three on three mil piece of ply on the top I've got a funny feeling it's coming out I think I can make a more interesting bridge than that so let's get on this is the first job to join this rail up here then I'll have yet another passing loop down the other side of this station I'm thinking about having a derelict station with grass and a knock down building rather than it being a, a proper station so that's something else to think about but that I think that is coming out all right let's add a bit of um, isolation here if I can there we go Now just a little polish up, make sure there's no nasty bits and a bit of track levelling to do next. There we go, uh, a bit of packing in there, we've got 2mm packer, 4mm packer, 2mm packer, 4mm packer. Now this part of the layout, well most of this part of the layout was uh, built during the Covid lockdown and I couldn't get any wood so there's all odd pieces of wood from a garage and cut-offs but uh, it's looking really kind of quite neat now I think I've got some good lines, some good levels going uh, that's what we want, is good levels yeah nice and nice and flat through there that's cool, right there we go, that's a kind of a mock-up I might have to bring that um, this bridge end down a bit but uh, you can see it's um, <coughs> gentle transition but uh, I've got to start somewhere so uh, well my return loop my downward re returning yeah returning reversing loop is not going well um, it's nice and strong but the carriages are not handling that transition from a a decline back into an incline there's just no carriage will 
cope with that so I'm going to give it one more go if not I won't be having a reverse loop I don't know it's the carriages that won't cope with it the bogies just can't handle the uh, transition from being on a decline and then coming up an incline um, so kind of wasted a day and got nowhere bugger well as hard as I try this has all got to come out there's no way I'm uh, going over here so plan two is coming first you don't succeed try 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 again well, there we go it's out got to start again but before I I've got an idea of how to get across there now a good idea but first I'm going to knock that bridge out while I've got chance down in that hole and then I'm going to come back to do number two attempt at number two let's go pull this bridge around <coughs> I don't regret this. Well, there's no turning back now. I think I want to keep the abutments, that's all. And the rest can go. Maybe I'll keep the centre leg to see how it works out. Oh, I hope I haven't done something that I'm going to regret. Um, you can see how flimsy 3mm three mil is now look how flimsy that is so uh, my bridge sides are going to have to hold support this I think they're strong enough for it so uh, let's clean up and make good now oh dear I'm moving on I've got my uh, under bridge wall we're going to put that in I've just painted a few bridges up I think I enjoyed that green on the other round top bridges so we've got a couple of bridges there let's go and uh, let's go up the loft and uh, do a bit more okay I've uh, repaired the um, brickwork and everything um, I've also put some formers in there to uh, take some landscape I've also put a cross member across here because I've got to have a door in here somewhere and uh, well, I'm going back downstairs now to have a go at the bridges. And here's the bridge sides, a 250 long, about 55 high, 50 high. But I can't do anything because they're still wet and sticky. And here we are with the uh, bridge panels ready to go into the bridge. But work has been stopped, not by a strike. My Captain Statics turned up, so uh, we decided to have a running session instead. And what has he brought? He has brought something for Kelly Ashford. Here we go. It's the city of Truro. And a pannier tank. Where's she? Here she comes. So I've got to get some uh, matching trains now to go along with this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but well, that's Mark's um, two trains marching along. Well, this is the reason that bridge construction has come to a halt. It's because we're going to have a running session. We've got to keep those trains running, and we're uh, we've got Mark as a guest here again. That's uh, Captain Static. We're running my S15, the city of Truro, uh, GWR, with some GWR coaches. We've got uh, Mark's Pannier tank, also GWR on the coal train, and my old Fowler on the milk. So, yeah, let's run some trains. That's what this is all about. So, here we go. Okay, Mark, send them on their way. Here comes the running session. 
So we've got Southern Region, Great Western, and I think that's XLMS, isn't it? Fowler? Yes, it is. Indeed. Where are you? There she comes. Now we've started to uh, add our little matrix for uh, 
of the J cloth and PVA glue. Okay, moving on a bit further, I've put in the matrix for the ground and uh, so tomorrow I can get on with some J clothing. Right, and uh, I'm going to put in a bit of wall now over there. Well, here we go, I've got the matrix set up. <coughs> I've got my uh, grill and J cloth, so here we go. There we go. I've uh, PVA J cloth that section. It's uh, looking really good actually. You can see that the um, the matrix is given in slightly to the uh, wet PVA. Um, so I'll be back to paint it when it's dry. I'm only going one ply because I won't be putting any weight or any hands here. So uh, can't wait to get the sides on. But I think that's going to be in part two. So. Uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Well, there we go. Um, one coating of um, PVA and J cloth. Um, I'm only going to do one, maybe two plies of uh, J cloth because there won't be any um, hands or weight put on this J cloth. As you can see, it's uh, it's got a nice shape to it already. It will tighten up as it dries out. So I think I'm going to call this video to an end, close it now, because um, well, it's going to be quite a long video. And the second um, part two can have uh, me finishing the bridge, doing some scatter under the bridge and some static grass. Whether that's me or Captain Static, who knows? So that's Alan saying, Alan out. Take care. Part two coming. Bye all. Thanks. Tickle the button. Bye.